he may be mentally a lot like Eli, but you see that there's a lot of things he can do that Eli just wasn't able to do, and that's going to open up the playbook a little bit more, too, to maybe make things happen yeah. without Saquon. So Eli had seven career rushing touchdowns. Da Dan Daniel had two yesterday. Here, here's my concern after watching him yesterday. He's very elusive. He keeps plays alive. But he, at this point, still does not have that great awareness if he anybody's has, around him. He has him. borderline zero awareness. He's going to get hit a lot because he hangs in the pocket. He's fearless. And there was one time he got crushed and then somebody stepped on his head, too. But he popped right up because you're just 22 years old. But you can't keep taking hits like that. So that's, that's the part of the maturation that you hope is accelerated. Because even in the, uh, in the exhibition season, he, he turned the ball over on fumbles. Yes. He holds on to the right. ball, well, doesn't have an awareness when there are hands around him. He's got to learn that. But, yes. but, but he will. I mean, that, that's going to come with time. What you, what you want to see are mistakes that are correctable. What you want to see for somebody who never saw him play before the Dallas game or, or the preseason is does he have, does he look like a quarterback? Does he have skills? He does. Holding on to the ball too long, that's going to happen. That's going to happen to a young quarterback who's never been in facing an NFL rush before. But what I do like about it, let him get it smacked around now. He'll learn. But I want that fearlessness. I want him to stay in the pocket the very last second. That's stuff that will come as he gets older. But right now, you know, if have it happen now in a season, I still don't think the Giants are very good. I mean, that, that defense is an issue. Remember, they, sh they shut down Tampa in the second half. Tampa was averaging 18 points a game. They had 28 points in the first half. Evans had, what, like 116 he yards was, receiving in the first half? It was ridiculous. Well, I, I, whenever I watch Evans, if he, if, if he gets a, a second run in his career, which he will somewhere else, he's going to be, he's so phenomenal. I feel like he's been buried in Tampa Bay, but he's incredible. Now, Daniel Jones did something yesterday at the age of 22 that I've never done in my life. He, he went into the huddle, he dropped a couple of F-bombs, and the team was shocked. Oh, really? They said he, they'd never heard him say that, and he, he was trying to, like, spark the team. They really respect him. You could hear the way they talk about him. I'm a little bit, you know, down on him using yeah, the F word. I know, of all the words. I've never used it. No, I know. It's, um, you've used no other bad words either. No, no, I, I've got a dirty mouth, but I haven't used that word. Right, so no, just that word. No, but that's just the thing you got going on. You're not doing it because it's you a weird gimmick. You, you have <laughs> some kind of moral high ground. It's just that you, it, you it's, know, a, still, it's a story from your past where right. you said the S word. Right, you could say suck on TV. And you got... Um, and radio. You know who loves soap in the mouth, right? And yeah. then you figure, geez, if I ever said the F word, right. what would happen to me? And I've never said it. You know who said the F word a lot yesterday? Who? Jets fans. <laughs> and you know but who, it's hard to jump the Jets. And you know who should love Daniel Jones? Who? The Jets. Why? Because, Took them off the back page. Oh, my God. They would have... Well, yesterday, who expected the Jets to win yesterday? I, I tell you this. I admit I put money on the Jets. Wow, look. Okay. You're a little, crushed on Rubicon. Yeah, you've got me now. In, 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 blame me. Nice, healthy gambling addiction going. <laughs>